Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and we're going to take a look at some gaming on the Top Joy Falcon. Now, it's not really designed first and foremost as a gaming machine. It doesn't have game controllers, doesn't have a ton of ports, doesn't have discrete graphics. But the Pentium Silver N5000 processor that powers this thing is good enough for some basic gaming. So I'm going to show you a couple of different things here that you can do with it. Uh, so let's go ahead and fire up a few titles. Now, the screen has a little bit of flicker, you might notice here, uh, when it interacts with my camera, and so I'm going to leave it at 100% brightness, because not doing that causes problems, but of course now we sort of have a fairly dim screen here. But so here we are playing Death Squared, which is not a particularly graphically intense game, but it runs pretty nicely. New lasers, Iris? Yes, David. The old units showed a drastic drastic decrease in the what now? Simplifying language. The old lasers weren't zappy enough. Oh, right, of course. You have to have the right amount of zap. Very scientific, very important. All right, so the game plays pretty well. I do not, um, but that is Death Squared. No real problems. Another game that I played that works really nicely is Broken Age. So these are games that are not necessarily requiring super high performance graphics, but you can see they work pretty well on here. Particularly games that work nicely with touch controls. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. Missions canceled. And for this game, you could easily play it in tablet mode or stand mode or whatever. It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. Oh, that's not good. Now, there are some other games that are not going to play as well, so I'm going to go ahead and fire up Batman Arkham Asylum here, which is the third game that I tried, and show you that it loads okay, but when it comes to actual gameplay, it's dropping too many frames to be really super usable. And you can find some benchmarks uh, with sort of more concrete performance notes at lilliputing.com. Uh, I ran some 3D Mark tests on this. I ran a couple of other benchmarks to take a look at CPU and, and graphics performance. It's pretty competitive overall, I'd say, with a Intel Core M3 7Y30 processor. It's not quite as fast as some tests. It's actually a little ahead in others, but it does use a lot of power. So while this has a 6-watt processor, it can crank up to around 8 watts uh, in order to get those benchmark scores, and that's going to take a toll on battery life. So... You probably can't see this, but now we're just at the menu where we choose what's happening here, and we're down to 16, 17 frames per second. So let's go ahead and continue the story from where I left off. It's saying 19, 29 frames per second, 31, that sounds promising. But as soon as we get to the point where we can actually move around, you'll see that it goes down a little bit. All right, so we're playing at about 
16 frames per second to 20 frames per second. It's going to make it hard to do. I told him he's a monster. This is frightening. Things like um, running and fighting. It's just a little on the sluggish side. You could probably play this game at 20 frames per second, but it's not going to be as much fun. And this is a... Well, I was going to say somewhat older game. I mean, it's, it's relatively recent. There's a whole uh, bunch of games in this Batman series, and I've never really gotten very far into them. But I just wanted to show you that it's, the frame rates are below 20, per, uh, 20 frames per second for the most part, which is going to be a little bit frustrating on more graphically intense games like that. So casual games, things like um, um, Double Fine's Broken uh, Age are going to work okay, but games like Arkham... Asylum or Arkham City are probably going to be a little bit less playable. So it can be a little hit or miss. If you want to do a little bit of gaming on the go, you can do that. And if you want to try to remember how to exit the game, you should probably say yes, not no. There we go. Now I'm also, of course, using just the touch screen and the controls here, or a keyboard. You could, of course, use pen input if you wanted to use pen input, or you could plug in an external controller. Um, I've been running games for just a couple of minutes here, and let's see, battery life is down to 88%. So, in general, I tend to get around four to six hours of battery life when just using this for general purpose computing. Uh, the screen brightness is all the way up now. It's more comfortable if I bring it down, but if I, actually it wasn't all the way up, it was, nope, that was the volume. Uh, screen brightness, there we go, is all the way up. If I bring it down, you see, I get a little bit more of a flicker. So that's going to take a little bit of a toll on battery life while I'm doing tests as well. Um, but the only other thing that I guess I should note is that, uh, yeah, it gets a little warm, but not uncomfortably warm when you're doing these things, when you're playing games, and you may hear some noise coming from the fan. Now, there's some noise anyway because the built-in microphone on this camera is not excellent. Um, but those are just some notes to, to take, uh, take a look at. So four to six hours of general purpose battery life, probably closer to one to three hours when you're gaming. Uh, you can play games, you're probably going to have more of a, a decent experience if you plug it in while you're playing games. And of course, super graphically intense games uh, might not be as easy to play. So um, Arkham Asylum, uh, it's a little bit older, but it requires some decent graphics, and it runs at a low frame rate. Broken Age and Death Squared, which we looked at here, both work uh, reasonably well. This is running Windows 10. Uh, you can also run other operating systems on it, and you can check out my other videos in this series for more details about the Top Joy Falcon, or go to lilliputing.com for a full review of this laptop. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.